everybody get your Roll on, I know shorty and she doesn't want to What's up, K's Nation? And I'm back with another video, gang. And if you're not with the gang, what are you doing, sis? What are you doing, bro? As y'all see me inside of for today's video, I'm going to be doing a freshman advice video. This is a collab with Famous Night. We're both doing freshman advice videos. This video was really re requested on my channel by my subscribers. So I hope y'all like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up even before it starts. Make sure y'all subscribe down below to join the Littest Nation on YouTube. And make sure y'all comment future video ideas. Hashtag K's Nation's Back to School series has officially started. Subscribe and turn the post notifications on to be notified when new Back to School episodes appear on my channel. So no further talking, we're just going to roll right into this video. And if you haven't seen my face before... It is yours truly, Clea Avery. Subscribe down below because we do this nation on YouTube. I'm not going to keep saying that. So you better subscribe or I will keep saying that. So I have a long list of notes on my phone, but I'm going to summarize it a little bit so y'all can get the main priority of what I'm talking about. If you're a freshman, this video is mainly for you. You need to really pay attention. But it, this video is actually based on, this is advice for all people that's in school. Everybody should take this advice. It's better to learn it now than when you actually get in high school or when it's too late. So make sure you take everything in, take notes if you got to, pull out a notebook, take some notes, and learn something. So number one is to focus. In high school, your main priority is to be focused. You really, 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 really have to focus when you go to high school because you should you should want to like be in and out. Like your main focus is to go to school be done with school, everything's good, your record is good, stuff like that. School, when you get to high school, it's not it's not time for fun. No, it's not looking forward to having fun with your friends. No, this is the real deal, major stuff. Getting you ready for college, or if you're not going to college, getting you ready for your adulthood and your adult life. Um, so take school very seriously when you go to high school. Well, when you go to any school, actually. But make sure you just start taking school seriously because everything follows you. Like, your whole record, I know they tell you probably, because they used to tell me all the time in middle school, like, people, rumors or whatever. Your middle school record doesn't matter. Everything matters. People are going to look at, well, mainly colleges are going to look at your high school record, but everything, like, follows you. Your high school teachers, what do you think are they going to look at to get to know you? Obviously, they're going to look at your middle school records. Make sure you um, do very good on those map tests or big tests that you have in middle school because those prepare you for what classes that you're going to have to take in high school and you don't want to be behind in high school taking eighth grade classes when you're in ninth grade you don't want to be like that so me since i took my and i'm not bragging in any way but since i took my test and stuff seriously me in my house if you if you fail in a grade like nothing lower than the c is acceptable like no Okay, no, it wasn't accepted in my house. So me, I took school seriously when I was in middle school. So that made me further ahead in high school now. Now I'm taking 10th grade classes in the 9th grade, but I'm actually going to 10th, so I'll be taking 11th grade classes now. You get it, you get it. So um, make sure y'all just take school seriously. Do, um, if you're in middle school and you're watching this and you're like going to 8th grade, take those tests that you're taking seriously. I'm not going to keep stressing it. Don't be distracted by friends. Or partying, like no, that's not obviously that's not gonna get you anywhere. You have time to grow up, get out of school, and go have friends and do what you wanna do. But right now, it's time to focus. If you have extra time, you know, yeah, go hang out with your friends because you know you gonna wanna have some fun while you're still a kid. Because once you get to adult life, it's work, work, work. But you wanna make it to where you do good in school, where you're able to get a career instead of a daily job. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, a career is something that you love to do. So, it's, you don't really, really look at it as a job, nine to five or whatever. And a job is something that you do, you know, give you the change here and there. A nine to five, working for somebody. Reach for, like, the stars. Like, aim high. Like, say if you like folding clothes, open your own laundry mat. Don't be working for somebody. It's okay to work for somebody because that's when you have to start small and that's going to mold you. But aim high, aim big. Me, when my, um, I don't have a job yet, but I will be getting a job when I turn 16. My job that I'm getting into 
is molding me for my career because I know what I want to be when I'm older. So the job that I'm getting is molding me for when I'm done working out of high school and I go to college and major in what I'm gonna major in and start opening my career and stuff. It's gonna all it all coincides together. If you get what I'm saying. Another thing is it's hard to catch up in high school. Y'all know in middle school it's pretty easy. Like you you probably miss a day of school and you come back and your teacher gives you everything that you missed or you don't gotta ask for it. She just lets you know, catches you up. No, in high school, they, it's your response. Everything's your responsibility. There's no excuse in the high school they're going to be. It's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. Turning in things late, forgetting things, they're going to tell you it's your responsibility. So don't forget things. Don't turn in things late. Um, it's very hard to catch back up with the program. So I advise you to miss school as least as possible. As much as you can go to school, go to school. If you sick and you think like if you could still walk around, go to school because it's very hard to catch up. Trips, vacations, plan those in the summer because it's very hard to catch up. Things move very fast in high school. You're gonna see like there's a difference from middle school. Things move very fast. Like I never noticed like in middle school, we would do the same lesson for a week and then we'll change the next lesson the next week. In high school, the lesson changes every single day. Every single day we have a new lesson. Every week there's a big test, like stuff like that. Like you have to be on your stuff. You have to be, well like, I really don't know cause some people, this is my experience, but you have to be on your stuff. Some people are taking easier classes. Like some people are actually really smart, but they don't show all of their ability cause they want to stick in classes that are funnier, you know, classes that are more fun and games, more easy. Know, just hurry up get an A pass teachers help them with everything I advise y'all to aim for a challenge because then you won't be bored and get in trouble in school so aim for a challenge if you think that you can move up to an advanced class do that it's gonna help you in the end um, and then you won't have to take as much as many classes for college because me I'm what I want to be when I'm older I told you guys was a nurse so I'm gonna start taking those classes now so then when I get to college I'll have I won't have to take as many classes in college. Y'all know y'all gotta pay for college. So I won't have to be paying for it as much. And like I said about everything follows you. What you do now will follow you for the rest of the school year. So everybody thinks, oh, my freshman year I get to have fun and games. And then I can get all my stuff, you know, junior year, sophomore year. Or I can just get all my stuff the last year of high school. No, everything follows you. All those, um, I have a book that I... A elementary book that I didn't turn in back to the library that's on my record still and I can't cross the stage in high school as a senior until that book is paid um, so everything follows you like all your records your attendance your truancies all that stuff it's not a good look so if you can have your mom call in for your truancies or they made a mistake call in for your truancies right away because not a good look like colleges look at everything when I tell you everything they look at everything make sure you're on your stuff don't slack don't fall off don't play around because it all catches up to you if you play for the rest of your freshman year you're gonna be a senior trying to catch up with what you could have done as a freshman if you get what I'm saying I hope y'all do what I'm saying it's kind of hard to explain but don't goof off as a freshman because you're gonna have to make it up when you get older and why would you want to be making up stuff when you could have just did good now and be out of school and uh, school number two is to get good rest if your school already started early in your previous years then you should be used to getting your rest by now but me I had a bad trouble of staying up to 2 a.m. and having to wake up at 5 a.m. to go to school at 7.15, before 7.15 actually. Um, I will be getting my driver's license this school year, so I will be driving myself to school. So that's going to be a struggle. I can't rely on my mom dropping me off or nothing like that. Actually, it's going to kind of be a layoff because then I got to tell my mom if I'm late and then in trouble. Okay, but the point is... <laughs> To get good rest so you're able to wake up good because I figure I find out like when you stay up late you're gonna be tired as heck when you go to school me I used to go to sleep and almost 
every class, honestly, in the beginning of the school year. Because I wasn't used to the 7.15 a.m. thing like that. It was really, really early. Um, my elementary school started at 9.15. My middle school started at 8.35. And high school starts at 7.15. So that's really early for me. Um, but it is not good to sleep during this class because you're going to figure out that you missed everything that was going on. And if your teacher knew that you were sleeping in class and you try to ask what, what was going on, like the last, what was going on yesterday, um, what work do I need to get, they probably, if, they, if your teacher's like mine, they probably ain't going to give it to you because they knew you were sleeping and it's your responsibility, like they always say. It's your responsibility. So do not sleep in class. Take your butt to bed at a reasonable time. Wake up at a reasonable time so you can be good and going to um going to school at the right time make sure you eat breakfast so you can be energized because it's always like the classes that i have after lunch i'm good because like i ate some food i got energized because i don't eat, usually eat breakfast but if you could if you wake up early enough go to breakfast at school and you can eat breakfast at school um but yeah i won't be taking the bus anymore because i'm driving your girl is driving herself to school it's lit. December, hurry up so I can get my L's. That's like pretty much it about number two. Get good rest. Don't be out partying. Like if you if it's a school night, I advise you not to go nowhere. Like if it's a school night, get all your homework done. Get your homework done. If you can't get your homework done during school, get it done during school so you can be able to get good rest. Cause me, honestly, I used to stay up to two two a.m. doing homework because I procrastinated throughout the whole day being on my phone or going places with my mama when I know I should stay home and did my homework. Cause when you go to high school, you gonna have butt loads of homework if your school is like mine. Me, I had butt loads. When I say butt loads, butt loads of homework. But like other people in my school, they were in different. We have houses that we're in, so they were in like different cohorts or houses or whatever so they didn't get as much homework because they were in like not they were in easier classes okay they were in the easy classes me i take um advanced i, I take advanced classes so i i don't know if that's why we had so much homework but even my um even my what do you call those classes like french and gym and stuff gym health you know those side classes that ain't really core classes those had a lot of homework too so I know people did have lots of homework even if they were in the easy classes um so yeah you're gonna have a lot of homework so make sure you prioritize um yeah prioritize and stay on your speaking of lots of homework number three is don't procrastinate do not leave stuff to the last minute because I'm telling you once you once you procrastinate that first little time or that first day or that first moments you just gonna keep procrastinating and it's never gonna get done then you're gonna get it done at the last minute and then when you turn in work late in high school points get taken off in language our language teacher was mean horrible hated her she would take 50 percent off the work that we did if it was turned in late say one minute late one class period late one one block late like anything she would mark it 50 percent off I had a big essay I had done and my Wi-Fi and internet and laptop like my laptop wasn't working that good I don't, I don't know if it was my laptop or my Wi-Fi I think my Wi-Fi wasn't working Spectrum, Spectrum had to come fix it that was the time and we had a big essay that needed to be turned in before 12 o'clock um and I couldn't get it turned in obviously because I didn't have no Wi-Fi so I go and tell her this and she still takes 50% off my big essay so that brought my grade down to like about a C because that essay took up a lot of the grade. Like it was like 75% of the grade or something like that. Some some big number like that. So make sure y'all don't turn in work late no matter what. If y'all um, Wi-Fi is down, walk to a neighbor house in the middle of the night and go turn in your essay because, <laughs> because teachers be tripping. Okay. And number four, middle school is very different from high school. Um, all my middle school years, they would be like, we're preparing y'all for high school. We're, yeah, they ain't prepare us for nothing. Now, honestly, if you in high school, you would know. They ain't prepare us for nothing. Like, my school would be, um, you know, they'd tell us, like, don't turn in work late. But they'd still accept it. And some classes in my high school, class, some blocks or some subjects in my high school years, they don't even accept. Like, my French teacher, she does not accept late work. Mm-mm. 
It's just like she don't accept it. So you just gonna have a big fat zero. And your grade's gonna be down because something late. So make sure y'all, I don't know, like everything really throughout this whole thing is to really just stay on your stuff. Stay on your stuff. Turn in your work on time. Um, and middle school is different from high school because like the fighting. If you fight in middle school, okay, you know, they're going to break it up, you know, suspend you. You keep fighting, they're going to expel you. In high school, there's polices throughout the building. I don't know if it's like this in y'all town. Don't be commenting. Oh, we don't have that. Um, we have that, so. Don't comment if you're a day like mine. But you will get arrested by the cops if you're fighting. It's not worth it, sis. No. It's not, it's not worth it, sis. First of all, if you the if you the aggressor, stop hating. Cause really, the only fights that it be is the ugly girl find a pretty girl because that girl is pretty simple. So she messed with her. The, the pretty girl got smart and she wanted to fight. That's really what it be. Or it's over a boy. And why would y'all find over boys when the boy's sitting on the sideline, probably talking to another girl and not even worried about y'all? Like y'all fight for the dumbest reason. That's why you would never catch me fighting because. This, why break my nails and mess up my hair for you? For you? For you? No. No. Fight me if you're gonna pay, repay for my nails to get fixed and repair for my hair to get done. That's the only way you can fight me. Okay? Okay? No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so don't be fighting, sis, because you're gonna get arrested or you're gonna get a big fat ticket and it's gonna be put, and it's also gonna be put on your record. So don't be fighting. If you want a decent job, don't be fighting. Mm -mm. And another thing that's different from middle school and high school is different friends. The friends that you had in middle school are most likely not going to be your friends in high school. No. It's too big. Too big of a place for you to be having the same friends. And too many different places that you're going to be put in. Different learning areas you're going to be put in to even see the same friends. And... In middle school, the same girls that used to mess with you may go to your high school, but most likely you're not going to see them. Like, you're not going to see them, so they won't have no way to mess with you. High school is so big that you and so many people that you're going you gonna to see so many different people, you ain't really going to notice the people that you used to see. So, like, if you, like me, I feel like because everybody that went to my middle school was like, oh, they're all going to the same high school. And I was like, oh, I don't want to see these people again. But I go to um, my high school and I barely ever see those people. Like, I have a whole other crowd of people that I hang with. Well, I can't even say crowd because I hang with, like, two or three people. Which is good because not everybody is, you know, not to say in my business, but I'm not spreading nobody's business. Nobody's spreading mine. I'm not talking to that many people. I'm not distracted by that many people, you know, stuff like that. You know, keep two or three friends on deck that solid, you know, not fake. Because most of them girls be fake. That's why you don't tell everybody your business or you don't talk to people that much because they be fake, sis. So, yeah, just keep two or three real friends on your team. And you good, you done. People that you can, that can have friends, be friends with people that can benefit you. Not saying use people, but people that are going to uplift you when you're down. Help you with your homework. Y'all on the same level of learning. So ain't no ain't one of y'all feeling stupid and one of y'all feeling like y'all just the beast that homework is done. Like, I don't know how they really put it in words, but yeah, just get you don't need that many friends. You don't need a crowd of people. You don't need to be popular. Cause being popular being popular is not gonna get you no job. Being popular is not gonna get you no money. Being yeah, popular I'm not gonna get you in your career. So what's the point? What's the point? And you might get popularity unasked for or untried to. You might just get it because you might just get it. But that don't mean you gotta, you know, talk to everybody. You know, like some people be popular, but it really just be like they're known. I don't mean they're friends with everybody. I don't mean they talk to any and everybody. I don't mean they out here being distracted. No. Focus. Number five is haters. Let the haters hate because they just going to keep hating anyway. So, um, to deal dealing with haters. So, me, 
is the best thing is to do is to ignore them because you ignoring them is showing that you don't even care about what they talking about so they obviously gonna stop talking you know that's no, like you don't care we don't care keep doing uses keep popping because that's what they hate and i wanted to add this in there the best thing that the best thing that can make anybody pretty anybody beautiful anybody look nice to somebody is confidence not saying nobody ugly because I believe that everybody's beautiful in their own way. But the ugliest person can have the biggest amount of confidence and that will make them look pretty. Like confidence really can change how you look to somebody because you don't care what nobody thinks of you. So have confidence. That's some advice for being a freshman because then that's going to show that you don't care what nobody, like what nobody say about you. If people can see that they get to you, they can sense that they they're getting to you they're gonna keep getting to you then you just probably gonna break down somewhere and cry like people gonna know that they can get to you and going to fresh going to um high school also advice is to don't be a bully it's not cute it's not making you look not more any prettier than you are no it makes actually it makes you look ugly because why do you have to talk about somebody you bullying somebody makes you look like you're not happy with yourself, so you're trying to make let somebody else feel down. No, it's not lifting you back up. So don't go to high school bullying people because it's not cute. Don't go to no school, actually. Don't go to middle school, elementary school, no, none of that. Bullying nobody because it's not cute. And not saying you're doing anything to be cute. But don't be bullying people. Like, it's not nice. It's not paying nothing off in the end. Like... No, it's not a good look. And lastly, number six is to plan your life goals and follow through with them. So I write down lots of things. I have lots of goals for myself. I have, like, um, all the things that I need to do to get into the college that I want to get in, all the things that I need to do in college to get to the career that I want to be in, places that I want to travel to, even little things like that. I have all my stuff written down, goals and everything. Um, and everything planned out, and that's really good to have. So make sure you just take notes of your goals, take action with your goals, and then follow through with them. So you, I used to have during school year also little goals too. Um, little goals like this this quarter I will get nothing below a B, stuff like that, and then you follow through with your goals, and it makes you feel good because you were able to do something. You were able to put your mind to something and actually do it. But plan your goals, take action, and then follow through with them. And that's all for today's video. Make sure I give this video a big thumbs up. Like this video. Make sure you go subscribe down below to join K Nation. Because we deliver this nation on YouTube. Make sure you hit that bell to join post notification gang. And also so you can be notified when I post a back to school episode. My back to school series has started with K Nation. And Make sure you also comment future videos that you want to see on my channel because you ain't got to go nowhere else because I'll put them on my channel. I'll make them for you. You ain't got to go nowhere else. Just subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Everything will be in the description box, but it also will be presented at the bottom of the screen. And that's all for today's video. Bye.